first there was the horse. What followed were cars and with it traffic jams. Meanwhile, rising traffic congestions is an inescapable condition in large and growing areas across the world. From Los Angeles to Tokyo, from Zurich to Sydney, everywhere the same picture. Traffic jams. With growing populations around the world, this issue keeps getting worse, while increasing CO2 emissions in spite of attempted remedies. Additionally, the more traffic on the road, the higher the risk of potential road accidents. Most accidents are caused by human errors like inattentiveness, speeding, or reckless and impaired driving. Over 94% of all accidents are caused by the driver himself. According to WHO, 1.35 million people die each year on the world's roads and between 20 and 50 million sustain non-fatal injuries. Road traffic crashes are a major cause of death among all age groups and the leading cause of death among children aged 5 to 14 and young adults aged 15 to 29 years. So the question that appears is, how can we solve this issue? How can we reduce traffic jams, CO2 emissions and at the same time make our roads safer? One answer to this question are autonomous cars, also known as self-driving cars. An autonomous car is a vehicle capable of sensing its environment and operating without human involvement. A human passenger is not required to take control of the vehicle at any time, nor is a human passenger required to be present in the vehicle at all. An autonomous car can go anywhere a traditional car goes and do everything that an experienced human driver does. Autonomous driving cars are at any time totally analytical. They have no emotions, can't get distracted and the onboard computers can react way quicker than any human being ever could. These capabilities have the potential to save thousands of lives every year. Another problem that can be solved by autonomous driving cars are the steadily increasing traffic jams. The vehicles can communicate with each other and therefore also drive closer to each other while maintaining the same speed. This reduces the braking and accelerating cycles which therefore lead to less traffic jams and lower CO2 emissions. Furthermore, since most of the autonomous driving cars are equipped with a hybrid or electric motor, as well as fuel efficiency software, CO2 emissions can be reduced drastically. Sounds very impressive and futuristic, right? Well, this future might be closer than you think. There are currently many companies working on this solution. One of the most promising ones is Tesla Motors. All new Tesla cars come standard with advanced hardware capable of providing autopilot, which is the company system used for self-driving. Eight surround cameras provide 360 degrees of visibility around the car at up to 250 meters of range. 12 ultrasonic sensors complement this vision, allowing for detection of both hard and soft objects. A forward-facing radar provides additional data about the world on a redundant wavelength that can see through heavy rain, fog, dust and even the car ahead. Autopilot sensors allow the onboard computer system to build a detailed picture of its surroundings, allowing the vehicle to anticipate possible collisions with other vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, animals, debris and any other obstacle. It can also detect road markings, signs and traffic lights. This enables the car to steer, accelerate and brake automatically within its lane. The system mainly works by vision, or more specifically, by the camera inputs. This is how the car sees its surroundings. All of the Tesla cars on the road collect massive amounts of data, which then train a neural network. The neural net improves by learning through the driver's actions during all the different situations on the road. Current autopilot features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. However, according to Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla Motors, full autonomous driving capabilities might be available by the end of the year. Autonomous cars can be classified as usage innovation because the idea is new, but the market for cars is still the same. It is another step in the customer experience. Even more services are added and the environment is all through designed. So far, parts of the driving are taken away from the user with functions like the autopilot, 
but the completely autonomous cars go one step further. The customer then no longer needs to do anything except to tell the car the destination. The focus is entirely on the customer experience. Therefore, the same rule applies that more customer experience also means that a higher price can be demanded. In established companies, there is often a fixed mindset. The processes and products work well, so people fear uncertainty and avoid new experiences. On the contrary, Tesla has a growth mindset. They consciously look for new possibilities, new experiences and develop a customer empathy. This leads to the fact that their autonomous cars can be seen as a game changer. The technology is very advanced and will have a big impact on the market. Tesla Motors still has a critical step to take. Namely, the final products are not yet established on the market and are still partially in the development and testing stages. As already mentioned, Tesla claims that full self-driving capabilities will be ready for go-to-market by the end of the year. In addition, all the legal regulations for each nation must determine that autonomous cars are allowed. They for example have to draw up laws on who would be liable in case of an accident. Especially in Europe, this is a slow process. Only then can Tesla enter the market and try to win over the innovators. These customers stand out because they are willing to take risks, have a high social status and the necessary financial liquidity to afford the products. Subsequently, the early adopters should be in focus. They have the highest degree of opinion leadership among the adopters categories. They have a higher social status, financial liquidity, advanced education and are more socially forward than the late adopters. They use judicious choice of adoption to help them maintain a central communication position. With these two categories, Tesla Motors should be able to reach a critical mass to gain further market share. As you can see, full self-driving or autonomous cars are closer to reality than some might think. As previously mentioned, Tesla mainly uses vision with the help of cameras. However, there is an alternative solution to this called LiDAR. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. So, how LiDAR works is that it fires out rapid pulses of infrared lasers in quick succession. Such lasers are super focused wavelengths of light. That light then bounces off objects in front of it and returns to the LiDAR sensor. The time it takes for the light to take that round trip is then calculated and used to create a 3D model of the object that can be then used to measure the distance for example or the height and shape of the object. Autonomous vehicles may use LiDAR systems for obstacle detection and avoidance to navigate safely through environments. The output from the LiDAR sensor provides the necessary data for the vehicle software to determine where potential obstacles exist in the environment and where the car is in relation to those potential obstacles. Therefore, the main difference between LiDAR and vision is a technological aspect. But which one is better? Compared to vision, LiDAR has some advantages and disadvantages. A big advantage is, for example, that LiDAR technology can be used day and night while vision has issues in darkness because without light the cameras cannot see. Furthermore, LiDAR sensors are not affected by any geometrical distortions. However, if you take a glimpse at the car with LiDAR, it does look pretty ridiculous. With its many sensors on top, it looks very bulky, expensive and not very futuristic. In some applications, LiDAR has high operating costs. Furthermore, it is ineffective during heavy rain or low hanging clouds. A further issue with LiDAR is that the laser beams may affect the human eye in case where the beam is powerful. And finally, LiDAR technology cannot work on altitudes higher than 2000 meters. As of right now, Tesla seems to be the leader when it comes to self-driving capabilities. The company already has a vision how to apply its technology in the future. I feel very confident in predicting uh, autonomous robo-taxis for Tesla next year. So any customer will be able to add or remove their car to the Tesla network. So we expect this to operate, um, it's, sort of, it's sort of like a combination of maybe the Uber and Airbnb model. Sounds ambitious, right? 
Well, only time can tell how the future will look like. Furthermore, there are still many questions to answer. For example, who is going to be responsible in case of an accident? How many jobs will be affected by self-driving cars and what impacts is this technology going to have on our society? Further to this, what will actually be transported in self-driving vehicles is another interesting question. For example, with a steep expansion in e-commerce, the flow of goods in cities is suited to smaller vehicles. The traditional logistics systems will be challenged by this development and self-driving vehicles might be used to transport goods when not transporting people. Therefore, self-driving cars to some extent may replace trucks in order to improve parcel delivery for transport companies with a need for micro-logistics around the city. While autonomous vehicles may mean that those who love driving will get to do it less, there will be many other benefits to people both inside and outside the car. The changes will be more fundamental and far-reaching than just giving the driver some time off. There is, however, still a long way to go, but as technologies improve faster and faster, it is from now on just a matter of time until autonomous driving becomes a reality for all of us.